Okay, so it's a pretty big shipping day today. Um, we were waiting on a, a delivery of our cases from uh, Hiscox last week. So uh, that was a little bit delayed for a couple of days. So that's why we've got some extra guitars on the shipping rack today to go out. Uh, this, is, uh, this is really all about X20s this week. Um, and really cool, we've got a great variety that shows all the different dynamics. We've got three Coco Bolos here. We've got all the colors represented in our standard carbon, the blue, red, green, amber, and black. Uh, we've got three Quilted Maple uh, in three different colors, amber, green, and blue. Uh, we've got three Customs here, 12 string, seven string, and a nylon. Then we've got a couple of uh, X30s, uh, a couple of X10s, X7, Chimera, two nice little Amicus, and a Ballard bass. So our full range is pretty much represented here today, and a uh, great opportunity to show you really all the different variations of the X20. I don't know what's been going on recently, but uh, the X20 has, has really been uh, hitting it out of the park. Um, so first one is, uh, is going out to Jennifer Kaiser, and uh, this is a X20 Royal Ebony. Really love Royal Ebony, as you guys will probably know if you watch these videos. Uh, some beautiful markings and marbling on this Royal Ebony and black carbon back and sides. The next one up is uh, Stephen in Utah, Moab, Utah. And uh, this is um, Laura Preto X20. Uh, Laura Preto has these really nice dark browns uh, with be beautiful black lines that go through it. Works really well and uh, transitions into the black fade around the edges. Uh, this one's been done with an amber back and sides. And, uh, Nice kind of dark looking color. Now, Coco Bolo, uh, as soon as we put a Coco Bolo guitar on the website, it's gone. And uh, I think we had a couple that we put up last week and they were snapped up pretty fast. Um, so this one was captured by Richard Hayes. Uh, no relation of mine, but uh, hi Richard, in case we are related. Um, that's Chicago in Illinois. And a beautiful piece of Coco Bolo. Love the knots in here, all these little knots and mirrored both sides. Uh, beautiful colors as always, and uh, really nice headstock. Uh, we always try and make the headstock match the body and uh, with a similar kind of pattern. Then we have uh, Donald Poole in Maryland. Um, Donald has uh, this beautiful X20. Again, the nice knots there, like two big eyes and uh, the amber back and sides. All right. This one's going to Rick in Kansas. And uh, Rick has selected a piece of Coco Bolo that's, that's much darker, um, not really darker in color overall, but it just doesn't have the, the heartwood strip down the center. Um, so uh, I really like whenever it's just all the, the darker wood like this. Um, Looks really, really elegant. You know, I often say it looks like a, an expensive piece of fine furniture. You know, it's just kind of got that look. Um, now, Joe in Ro Rhode Island, uh, X20, blue carbon. So uh, here we're going into a row of carbon finished guitars. So it's the finishing the blue carbon back and sides. And that's really dark blue. Then we've got uh, Tim in New Jersey. He's got a red one. So red, I think it really pops. Just a vibrant, deep uh, ruby or blood red. Then I pronounce this right. I think it's Kennyford in Rochester, New York. Uh, and he's gone for the green. The green and the carbon, I think, um, is one of the brighter colors. The green really is, is very, uh, very vibrant, um, even under darker light. Some of them under darker light, the, the intensity of the color doesn't come up until bright light hits it, but the greens have a much more vibrant color, uh, as does amber, actually. So uh, this is an amber one. Uh, this is Anthony in Texas. And uh, the amber gives you those really nice warm more kind of woody tones. That's why I often use the amber uh, on the back and sides of the, the wood veneer guitars. 
And then we have straight black carbon. So, uh, and this one's going to Taiwan, to Tyler Rogers in Taiwan. Um, so, uh, this is this is just the natural color. So, whenever we build all our guitars, uh, it's the black carbon fiber weave that you have. And uh, well, this is finished just with a clear coat over the top. So all these other ones are done uh, with a transparent color over the top. So we start off with the black, we put a transparent color over and that kind of, it's like a stained glass window with just the light goes through that color, hits the black carbon underneath and that's what gives you the, the vibrant colors. Um, next up, then we have some quilted maple. So this one's uh, Ralph in Germany. Uh, and he's gone for the quilt of maple in the vintage amber. So uh, Robbie really does an amazing job with all the the, uh, the vintage bursts that he does. And uh, so it's, it's gone from a nice uh, amber color out into sort of reddish, uh, like I guess more almost like a root beer, browny, reddy. I don't even know how to describe that color towards the edges. But you can see how it transitions. Um, just gives it a really nice warm kind of color. And uh, it's got the dark amber back and sides. So the vast majority of the, the wood veneer guitars that we do um, are done just with a clear coat. You know, like the Coco Bolos and the Loro Preto and all those kind of guitars. We just do keep them natural, but amber really lends itself to put, or sorry, um, Quilted Maple really lends itself to putting some color on it. Because it's a really light colored wood and because of the dimension and the, the sort of the holographic nature of it, when you put a color on it, it just really, it comes to life. So, uh, so this one's got green on it. And uh, this is uh, going to Chris Carr in uh, Hawaii. And uh, the guys were telling me he plays in a, in a Celtic rock band out there. What did they say? Uh, the Kilt Lifters. That sounds like a fun band. I'll have to check them out. Uh, so check out the Kilt Lifters. This is going to uh, them out in Hawaii. Uh, perfect green guitar for the Kilt Lifters. Uh, this one's been finished with the uh, the um, go to five tens in chrome. So most of the, the guitars we finish them with the with the black finish, uh, the Cosmo black, which is really nice and elegant. But uh, it's got the chrome. I think it lifts it nicely. Now, here's another Colt Maple one. Uh, this is the blue. It's a really vibrant blue on this. It's beautiful. Uh, this is going out to Nicholas in uh, San Carlos, California. I bet you're getting better weather than we are. Um, so yeah, the, uh, you can see just the different dynamics, the different colors that you can achieve with the, uh, with the Quilted Maple. Each one just has that same depth. And we have some of the most amazing quilted maple in stock at the moment. Um, it's been really popular. Just the, the dimension in this quilted maple is just something quite special. So next one up, we have uh, Daniel in uh, Cincinnati, in Ohio. And uh, this is um, figured mahogany. So this is the X2012. So we've just gone through a whole run of, tw of six strings. And uh, now this shows you the other dynamics of the X20. So the X20 has been a great guitar for us for all the other uh, custom variations like the 12 strings, the baritones, the seven strings. It's just a really great platform for, for all kinds of things. So 12 string, it just sounds divine. It's got that great balance of having the, the fullness and the bass, but also the, um, the, the trebles, you know, the octave strings that really sparkle. So it's just got a really broad spectrum, uh, punchy, full, uh, and still great clarity from string to string. So uh, this, uh, I'm pretty sure Daniel's gonna have a lot of fun playing this 12 string. Um, beautiful piece of veneer, that mahogany. Uh, that's what we used in last month's Select Series. Um, so it's uh, pretty much a similar spec to the, the Select Series, uh, which we've got one actually showing. The only difference is the, the tuners. Got one coming up here. Then we've got an X27 string. Uh, this is going to David in, uh, in Minnesota. And um, this one's quite interesting and it's got amber on the front. And then we finished it in black on the back and sides. And it's been given gold tuners on the headstock. And it's a satin, satin gold finish. Um, beautiful guitar. 
Uh, he specified this guitar without any pickup, so it's purely acoustic. And uh, our seven string is the only guitar that we do as standard with fan frets, uh, with the multi-scale system. And um, it really works well on a seven string where you've got the, the low B here. Uh, it's such, uh, so much lower tuning and lower tension on this. So having that ex extended scale just really he helps keep the definition in that lower note. Um, so we're, we're a big believer in, uh, in fan frets for, for extended range guitars. Then we have the X20 Nylon, and uh, this is our, our standard spec X20 Nylon. Uh, this is going to David in LA, uh, finishing number. And uh, as people probably know, one of the main features on the, on the X20 Nylon is uh, its hand-carved custom headstock. Uh, we do this really nice slotted headstock, and uh, one of the key things that we do is we step it. So, all the tuners are stepped in, and uh, really like how this gives you uh, a really straight string pull. You know, the, the string isn't pulling angled off the off the tuner shaft; it's uh, coming really straight off it. So that's our X20 nylon, a really great crossover nylon string. You know, if if you're playing, um, you know, uh, a standard cla uh, concert classical, purely classical style. Maybe it's not the, the nylon for you, but if you're looking for something that's more of a crossover, they have a unique sound, really great for a lot of different styles and uh, a lot of bass, really bass heavy um, nylon guitar, but also with a lot of nice clarity as well. So now we're into a couple of X30s. Um, this is an X30 Coco Bolo. And this one is uh, going to Craig in, uh, in Maine. Um, beautiful piece of Coco Bolo here. Um, really hard for us to get Coco Bolo that's wide enough to do an X30, but we do have some pieces. And, uh, and this is a great example of that. Finished with the amber back and sides. And then we've got one of our select series. Um, I think this one sold just over the weekend. Uh, so uh, Eric from uh, also New Jersey. And uh, beautiful piece of um, figured mahogany on the select series. Uh, the other key detail on the select series was the, the gold tuners and just overall just made a really beautiful selection. I think there is one select series left, there's the X7. Uh, so if you're still interested in something like that, you want a smaller body, uh, then you can check that out on our website. Um, okay, so let's keep going. Uh, X10. Um, this is uh, our X10 level three pickup system, finished in black and blue carbon. And this is going out to Matthew Walker in Florida. So level three pickup system. So you get the piezos, uh, the Crevo humbucker, and also you have MIDI connectivity. So a multitude of different sounds, so many different options totally in this guitar. And then we have another one. This is going out to David in Arizona. And uh, same setup, the same three uh, pickup outputs, and uh, this one's finished in amber. So the X10 is a really cool, really versatile guitar. Then we've got Martin in, mm, not sure where Martin is. So Martin Bremser, I think it is. Sorry, I, that, the name's not, or the address isn't on this, so. Uh, but uh, we've got an X7 finishing number. Uh, so I guess this was probably sold from stock. That's why I don't have a, the, uh, the country yet. So really nice little, that's our, our small body uh, kind of part of the guitar, our short scale. Then we have our Chimera. So Chimera is our double neck, six string and 12 string. And uh, if you want to really extend out your plane, then this is a great option. Um, comes with a dual pickup system. So you've got a mono output, and uh, you can also select for that to be a stereo output with a little switch right here. You've got a three-way switch in here that allows you to select between the necks, so it's like really well positioned, kind of hidden away, quick switching. And then there's also a volume and tone in here uh, for each neck. So really versatile, really easy to use pickup system in these. 
and uh, yeah, you just have to master how to play it. And that one was going to that's going to Paul Dobson in England. Then we have a couple of Amicus. So the Amicus are our short scale twelve string, eighteen inch scale, same as having a capo on your tenth fret. So it's tuned up to D. Uh, this one's finished in zebra wood. Really cool piece of wood. Uh, it's kind of got all, like all these little knots in it. It's kind of like bird's eye uh, in some way, um, with a, a darker browner color, amber back and sides. And uh, yes, yeah, so that one's going to Greg in Scotts Valley, California. And we've got another one going to Richard in Derbyshire in England. And uh, this is also Quilt Maple. Uh, this is in the vintage amber. And uh, really nice little amicus. Amber back and sides. And then another one, another beautiful piece of Quilt of Maple to finish it off. This is going to Luke Monroe in Oklahoma. This is our big baller base. So this is the Ballard bass, fretless, uh, fretless finish, and uh, a big piece of quilted maple finished in the vintage amber. That is just, that is a beautiful guitar. Beautiful in sound and beautiful to look at. So, uh, so look, we wait, wait, or look forward to hearing how you get on with that. Send us a video. So. We're always excited to send these guitars out. Um, we've been getting great feedback from the little videos we've been doing. I know you guys like to get a little shout out, shout out about them. And uh, I love hearing your, your comments about your guitar and how excited you are seeing them coming. We also really like seeing your videos uh, of your unboxing videos and your pictures of getting the guitar. So, uh, so keep interacting with us. The more you can interact with us, the more we interact back and uh, that's what kind of makes this all fun. So uh, thanks for watching. If you watch from start to finish, you're a trooper. Um, and we'll see you again very soon.